windows, shattered windshields, and dented cars again and again. We bought a car in September, and they already got hit. The culprits? These golf balls. There's one ball right, right to here. Dozens scattered all over Raymond Hublau's Commonwealth Boulevard home because right across the street is this Douglaston Golf Course. So from 2010 to now, I spent approximately $5,000. His neighbors seeing similar damage, not just expensive, but dangerous. Hublau says one even injured his niece. She was walking in from, from the roadway, walking into my front door, and she got hit by the golf ball. Just to give you an idea of just how many golf balls end up on some of these properties, take a look at this box. Filled with them. Who balls as he collected all of these in just a couple of months? Back in 2014, neighbors complained to local leaders and got this netting installed. The only problem, it doesn't protect the 18th hole. There's a gap in there, so the balls are still coming in there. And that was the majority of balls coming in there, so they did not fix the problem. So we tried to ask the golf course why. That's an ongoing problem for years. This worker acknowledged the issue, but referred us to the city's parks department, which owns the property. An agency spokesperson simply said it doesn't have the money to further fix the matter, but will continue working with Douglaston to address concerns. Meantime, Hublal just continues to keep score in this seemingly endless game with the city. In Little Neck, Queens, Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. Well, the golf course originally opened under a different name in 1927. Hublaw says that his house was built in the 50s, but he moved in in 2010. I'm not one to talk, but you got to hit better shots. <laughs> it's a little off. You got to stop it's hitting, a little it, off. hitting it all over the place. <laughs> Give these people a break. And that will solve everything. It really will. <laughs>